everybody. <laughs> but Bird Finds here. I'm Mary Beth. And I'm Laura. And you missed it. <laughs> like a minute or two ago, I clicked our intro while she wasn't looking and it played. And then I was like, hey, everybody. And Laura was like, I'm not ready. I said, why would you do that? And then Laura was like, Bird Finds here. I was like, it's not, it's not real. <laughs> that was mean. It was pretty funny. <laughs> hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. Lots of people are here already. That's awesome. How's Jeffrey doing? Is he still going? We clicked off of him just a few minutes ago. I think he had a few things left. Mm. All right. Tacky is me is here. And Annie H. And there's our friend Mazzy and Helen Casey. Karen Radford. Mm -hmm. Melissa is here. He's almost done, Karen says. Thumbs up. Thanks, Mary. <laughs> Laura, how's it going? Good. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. What are you drinking? I'm glad it's Friday. Me too. It's Malibu rum. Again. And you're drinking it out of such a cute little glass. Isn't that adorable? Carrie's here. It's got the, carous, the little fawn that's here this time. Thank you. Oh, Christine, I, I think I'll be in Paducah tomorrow looking for your mom's shop. Say the name again, please. Nice. It's Layman's. Layman's. L-A-M-O-N-S. Is your mom going to be open tomorrow? I was just wondering that. I bet I bet somebody's opening for her. Tomorrow's Katie's baby shower, everybody. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Karen Redford says she's going to be in Mayfield starting May the 1st. Say that again. Karen Redford's going to be in Mayfield. Tomorrow? Starting May the 1st. Oh, hey, really? Angela. Like, uh -huh. to stay? Maybe for a little bit. Awesome. That's exciting. You'll have, to, you'll have to scroll down a little bit more. I, I don't remember what she said. Is your mom on here? I don't see her yet. Will you, one of you text your grandmother and ask her if she's going to have the store open tomorrow? Hi, Melissa. Hi, Danny. Katie's kids are both here. No. Katie's kids? <laughs> Laura's kids are both here. I was looking at over there when I said that. Yay. Laura's kids are both here. They're never both here at the same time. Oh, Corey. Love you both. Love you, too. Yay. And who is... Oh, there's Nancy. our friends Nancy and Kenny. On Facebook. Yes. Welcome, welcome to all of our Facebook watchers if you're watching from Facebook. And welcome to our Periscope watchers if you're watching from there. <laughs> mm. Ruth Ann's going to be here later because we have another craft. <laughs> It's not egg dyeing this time, but we're going to make candles. <laughs> we have a candle making set. I tried to talk her into a different one, but she really wanted to make some candles. Yeah, this looks, I did. Yeah, this looks like it's going to be fun. I'm trying to see if there's an age on it. Mary Beth, I went, I went to the post office. You guys, I'm really sorry about my hair. My hairdresser got sick and canceled my appointment. That happened. It's fine. Um, I went to the post office. I think it was yesterday, and I go in, and Trina was there, mm -hmm. and I kind of slide in the side door because, you know, we could just put our stuff up on the counter, but I always look for her, and she, and I looked, and she saw me, and she went, Mary <gasps> Beth! <laughs> and I was like, no, that's not it, <laughs> and she was like, no, tell, tell me I got it wrong. I was like, well, you were close. <laughs> you were so close. Poor Trina. It's closer than Ruth Ann. And she started laughing. And I said, all of our YouTube friends find that very funny. That's great. And she calls, they call Mary Beth Ruth Ann now. And she thought that was really funny. <laughs> yeah. Old stuff Beth is like, I bet your nails look great though, Laura. Laura just did her, she was over here painting her nails right before. They're pretty good. They look great. Good to Javino. There's Kat, Sarah Lee, Mary R. There's Jamie and Tigers. Welcome, everybody. Lisa Day, Tiger Lily. My mom was like, I wanted to talk to you about your hair. Your mom said <laughs> yeah. that from last week. What was wrong? She's with like, it? I think you ought to put your glasses on your head. Oh. And I was like, Well, mom, I can't see. <laughs> Oh, joy. And she's like, yeah, I was afraid of that. I figured that's what the problem was. <laughs> it looks fine. It looks totally fine. <laughs> it's fine. Hey, me too, Danny. I am terrible at it. I can get my left hand painted really well, but then when I go to paint my other one, I'm, it looks awful. It looks like 
my dog did it. You should let me do it. We'll do it. <laughs> I'm pretty good at it. Corey, we love you too. It's like romper room mirror magic time. Magic mirror time. I don't know what that means. You were never on romper room? No. Romper, bumper, stomper, boo. Tell me, tell me, tell me, do. Magic mirror, tell me today. Are all my friends have fun at play? I have something like that. It's a rhyme like that. And then she holds up this magic mirror and she says, I see Nikki and Megan. I wish and you could Katie. see I wish you could see Megan and Katie sitting over there on the couch. They're both going. Did somebody really say wrong for real? Yeah. <laughs> Why did they say that? I don't know. That was just like a huge uh, memory that just came flooding back. That was a lot. <laughs> that was really something. <laughs> when did you start drinking, though? <laughs> I've only had one sip out of this, actually. Well, I guess it's just your natural state of I'm just, whatever. I'm just very bubbly and glad to be on here. And people think that I'm... <laughs> Drunk half the time. <laughs> That's really great. funny. That's great. Okay. <laughs> hey, guys, if you're new, if you're brand new and you have no idea what's happening, that's okay because we usually don't know what's happening either. But here in about 10 minutes or less, we're going to sell five items. We call it the Fat Bird Five, and we do that every Friday night. So if you're new, say hi to us in the chat so that we know that you're new. We love our new people. Oh, Vinny had a one swung vase kind of week. Oh, dear. That's no good. Vinny, that's not good. Here, I'll give you a one swung vase, Vinny. We'll put it up there just one. so. <laughs> that's really sad. It's one really good one, though. <laughs> that's true. Does that count for anything? Yeah. No. I'll give myself about a three. It was about a three. How about you? I'm going to say. I'm going to say about a three or a four. Mm, maybe four. It, it, nothing bad happened. Anybody out there with a five swung vase week? Anybody five for five? We didn't find any good deals or anything this week. <gasps> I did. Oh. I was your yarn sale today. Well, look at you. Yeah. So I had gotten up and gotten ready for work and I was looking at Facebook real quick and there was a yard sale that was posted this morning in Paducah, just really close. And they had this really cool piece of uranium glass. I was like, they're not still going to have that because it, it opened at eight and yeah. it was nine. I was like, they're not still going to have that. Mm -hmm. But I went anyway and I got one thing. I didn't get the uranium glass, but I got one little cute thing. Can I get a negative two swung base week? I'm sorry. I don't know how. I haven't, we'll figure something out. I don't know how to do it. <laughs> I don't know how to do negative swung bases. Mom, what kind of a week did you have? Is your mom on? Yeah, she just, I just saw her talking to Vinny. I picked this up at the yard sale. Oh, that's right. We said broken. Long basis. I got this little cute piece of amber hobnail. I think that's really cute. Fit. I'm a fan. I used to not like that stuff very much, and you guys have won me over. It's marked on the bottom. Look how pretty that is. Yeah, it's not bad. That was my one little yard sale find. That was all that they really had. It was a lot of like home decor, like pictures and pillows and stuff that I didn't want. But that's cute. I like. I got it. that. These people say, oh, that's that's right. I forgot we established that. What? It's broken vases are the bad ones or the negative ones. Oh, yeah. We need to, you need to like come up with some sort of graphic where they're broken. I can do that. Okay. I can do that. Christy Allen found two Starbucks City mugs. That's awesome. What cities did you find? Hmm. Vinny, between ginormous amounts of returns, a bunch of call outs, my one manager's last day. After being there for 21 years, it's been a hellish week. Vinny, I'm sorry. I've had plenty of those weeks, so I feel you. Free range adulting. Free range adulting. Oh, that's so nice. Thank you so much for the love. <laughs> Hit the like button. Thanks, free range adulting. You are so awesome. Thank you so much. Well, for everybody that had a bad week, now is the time for an hour or two to let it go and just be silly. Because <laughs> mm -hmm. I know what it is to have a bad week. I'm sorry. Yes. True. So before we start our Fat Bird Five, should we show our add-ons? Oh, you want to? Yeah. Okay, let's do it. We we have a couple things that are going to be like add-ons for orders. Mm -hmm. So like if you order something from us and you want to add on a little something for a, a couple bucks or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
You know what? That was one of my entrepreneurial ideas one time. I thought someone should come up with something with a line of things called a little something. Because everybody says, I need to add a little something to your gift. Oh, yeah. I think somebody should invent, you know, a whole line of things that come in a bag that says a little something on there. Okay. Hi, Laura. <laughs> did we determine how much we're going to charge for these things? You did. What was it? <laughs> was it? How much for that? Four. Four and what? Um, two. Four dollars and two dollars. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we've got a four dollar add on for your orders. It's a sticker sheet. That's our regular sticker sheet. You guys have seen it before, but we just got them in. We, we had run out. Yeah. So we had ordered some of these before and sent to a few other channels just as like, thank you for supporting us and thank you for this and that. And so now then we have some in stock to sell. Yeah. Yeah. So Great. Great they're, fun. they're kind of expensive, so we couldn't get more to, to give away, unfortunately. But we do have these sticker sheets as a add-on so cute and actually since since free range adulting sent us that super chat mm -hmm. will you write free range adulting down and let's send her okay a sticker sheet okay so free range adulting has she ordered from us before she has yeah i thought so laura does the emails and i'm terrible at it and then corey corey with a super chat. Thank you, Corey. Corey, that is so nice. So write down Corey too. We're gonna send Corey a sticker sheet. I think I think we already put Oh, did we? I think I sent Corey stickers last week because she because because they bought my pig. Oh, that's right. That's right. You're right. Yeah. Corey, you already got sticker sheets. But thank you for the super chat. So this will be a four dollar add-on. So you get one, two, three, four, five, six stickers. And then, this is my new thing that I ordered. If you guys... This is exciting. If you guys heard me... Oh, Corey said you did. Yeah, okay. okay. So this is my new thing. Wait just a second. Yeah. I'm having a moment here with Corey. <laughs> Corey, Corey, do, I don't want to stumble over it anymore. Corey, are you, you're a she, right? Because, like, I know a lot of Corey's that are boys. Pronouns. I, and what are your... They're telling me to just say, what are your pronouns? Correct. Because Corey can, can be any of them. That's true. Yeah. So I don't, I just don't want to say the wrong one. It's true. Yes. Yeah, Corey, I got the pig. Yes, I know. It's so cute. Okay. Yay. Retro piggy bank pig. Okay. Here's our $2 add-on. Female. Yes. Girl. Thank you. Thanks, Corey. <laughs> Thanks, Corey. Okay. Here's our $2 add-on. We got coasters. We got flipping and sipping coasters. Isn't that exciting? Yeah. Damn that they're so cute. So yeah, this is just like your little coaster. You can put your drink on. Isn't that adorable? And it's got our little cocktail with the bird on it. I love it. So that'll be your $2 add-on. If anybody is, is interested, since, let us know. Since you couldn't make the stir, <laughs> the stirs, the stir <laughs> sticks or whatever you call them. <laughs> yeah. Swizzle sticks with the bird on them yet. Correct. <laughs> yeah. So, again, couldn't get the swizzle sticks, but I did get the coasters. So, yeah. Yay. So. Awesome. $4 add-on, $2 add-on for your orders. Or if you just want one in general. Beth says, very cute. Is that the surprise you didn't tell Laura about? It is. It was just something silly. It when, is. When did you say that? Last week. Oh. <laughs> can we just order coast? Can we order just coasters? You can. Yes. Yeah. Send us an email. You can. You can do that. Misty. Hey, Misty. Show the coaster again in case Misty missed it. <laughs> Misty missed it. Misty, we got coasters for flipping and sipping to put your drinks on so while cute. you're while you're flipping and sipping with us. We'll have to we'll have to get Misty one of those. Misty, I just sent you a Marco Polo. Send Corey a coaster. Yes, we'll do that. Yes, send Corey. A, a, we brought that down. Mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs> okay, love you, Corey. Yes. Okay, so that took all our time up. So it's time for the Fat Bird Five. Yay! All right, so if you've not shopped with us before, we do the Fat Bird Five every Friday night. We sell five items, and sometimes we have more. <laughs> sometimes we have a bonus or four. As Jeffrey would say, they sell five, eight, nine-ish. <laughs> whatever. Or whatever they want. That's right. Okay, so if you've been to any other uh, live sale, it's just like any other live sale, okay? We're going to give you an item number and we're going to give you a price. And if you're the first person to type the item number into the chat, 
you will win the opportunity to purchase the item. Right? Right. Okay. No, you don't have to register. You don't have to register with us. Some people, um, some people do that on their channels. They need to do that when they do the bidding so mm -hmm. that, so that you don't, uh, so they don't have trolls that come in and raise the bidding. Like, yeah. But in this case, uh, we don't usually have to deal with that. So it's okay. Yeah. Correct. If you want to send us your information, that's fine. And we'll put it on our list. Yeah. We can totally do that, but it's not required. So if you do win, if you are one of our winners tonight, we need three pieces of information from you. Uh, we need your YouTube name and your real name. We need your mailing address and we need your PayPal email address. And you can send all of that information to fatbirdfinds at gmail.com. That's our information. We put out invoices typically on Sundays. And then we will, of course, invoice you for the price of the item plus shipping based on your location in the world. And we are located in Western Kentucky. Awesome. Was that good sufficient? Job. It was sufficient. I think I said everything. It's so good. Oh, I have a couple more tips. If you are in top chat, make sure that you switch over to live chat because that will help you out. Also, if you feel like you might be buffering or you feel like you might be behind, refresh now and make sure you get caught up. Those are my tips. Oh, one more thing. <laughs> we stream to three <laughs> platforms, so we're going to YouTube, Facebook, and Periscope all at the same time. You guys cannot see each other's chats, so we have to take the, the winners in order that we receive them on our end. So you will almost always appear first on your end, but that doesn't necessarily mean that you are first. Misty, I just saw something on my lunch break for you. Oh. The other day, the same place I found those little dolls for you. I've got to go back and get it. It just had Misty written all over it. All right. <laughs> You'll have to go with me. Okay. Okay. Love it. Hey, Blonde by Beauty. Oh, wait. I didn't see that. Laura scrolled up in the <laughs> chat, and I didn't see. I didn't. It didn't refresh. Oh, thanks, Tiger. Thank you, Tiger. Write down Tigers. <laughs> um, has Tigers bought from us before? I'm not sure. Tigers, if you have, I, I'm, that's because I see um, her in the chat a lot, but I'm, so I, I, I might be mistaken. Tigers, send us your, um, your information to fatbirdfinds at gmail.com. We'll send you a sticker sheet as well. Yay. Thanks, Yay. Tigers. All right. All right, friends. Are you ready? Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. I have a video. Not really, hold on. That was it. That it's was just my video. In, an unidentified flying object has been spotted outside of Mary Beth's house. It was on the Today Show. It was. I'm pretty you guys, come on. <laughs> I'm pretty stoked about it. I know. We'll have to talk about that. We'll later. talk about that later. <laughs> Angela Marksbury, how are you? Hey Angela. Okay. <laughs> this is our first item oh look how cute he is now i think she this little piggy's not a he it's a she because she has a little pink flower on her booty you two are blurry oh my gosh jamie oh katie did you see that Jamie just sent a super chat that says diapers for Max. Oh. <laughs> Happy baby shower. Jamie, that is so, you're, that's unacceptable. Jamie just, uh, Katie just said, you know what? I haven't had, gotten any diapers yet. I think other than that, I might be ready if he came any day, but no diapers. Thank you, Jamie. And Jamie thank you, Corey. So I feel like Corey keeps popping those in there. I don't know if, if it's not refreshing correctly or if he's just keeps popping those in there, but stop it, Corey. If you're keep if you're continuing to do that, stop it. Look at this pig. Look how sweet. I love that pig. Okay, I feel like I'm distracted. Let me. I've got to get into this now. <laughs> my mom says so sweet, Jamie. Yeah, Jamie's your awesome. Lights. lights. Oh, my spotlights. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. You raised. We had a telethon for those spotlights. We got to use them. I know, right? Okay. <laughs> Yeah, we're not focusing well. Okay, this pig. I'm probably messing it up. This is Porcelain by Helen Fennell. We've so had several pieces of that. We have. We had a big collection of hers. So, um, 
Rosie. She, <laughs> she did porcelain, I think, in the late 70s, 80s era. So this is about 30 years old or so, this little pig. And look at his little butt. <laughs> Isn't that cute? <laughs> look at her butt. Corey said I'm a she with a, with a laughing face. I'm terrible. I, I had you saying he. I'm sorry. <laughs> Let's start when, all over. When you get when you get used to saying it, and then you you can't stop doing. It. I'm gonna start all. Over. Oh, Corey is so sweet. Thank you, Corey. She is awesome. I am so sorry. Oh. I'm the worst. Anyway, back to this pig that is so sweet. Kind of blurry. Hmm. Uh-oh. That's a technical issue that I know nothing about. Give me five seconds. If the late seventies is just thirty years ago. Is it not? <laughs> Every yeah. that's crazy. <laughs> okay, is that better or worse? I took the camera down and wiped off the lens. And here comes her fan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing. I'm trying my best. You're the best you can do. Okay. <laughs> okay, the little pig is adorable, and it's just nine dollars anyway. Nine dollars for this sweet little pig. Somebody, Again, somebody named her Rosie. Again, Helen Fennell Porcelain Studio. She was from Davenport, Iowa. So sweet. Number 20. Number 20, $9. Number 20. She has a little bit, uh, she looks a little shadowed, but it's just newspaper print. Yeah, she needs to be wiped <laughs> off with like a magic eraser or something. Yeah. All right. Who do you see? I think, oh, somebody's smart. Somebody says it's focusing on the picture back there. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> what to do about those? Interesting. Hmm. Okay. The person who won is Sydney Pertrucks. <laughs> Free range adulting. All right. Free thanks. range adulting. Thank you. And I know I I know I know your name and I, I can't it's not coming to me right now. Free range adulting, but thank you very much. Thanks, free range adulting. I think is it Katie? Let me try one more thing. Hold on. I think some people aren't having that problem. Let me try one more thing. What does that look like? Is that better? I did. I changed the uh, the resolution. Very nice. We'll see if that helps. Thank goodness you know about these things. <laughs> Most people aren't having a problem till now. Great. <laughs> Charlotte. Hi, Charlotte. <laughs> Charlotte. Oh. It's 4 o'clock in the morning. She doesn't have time for this. That's true. <laughs> Quit changing the camera. Okay, some people are saying better, so good, 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 good. Okay. okay, now that that's over, let me see your piece of paper. Okay, we have this really cool piece of lusterware, this plate that is got this reticulated edges. It's Norcrest, Japan. Yeah, lusterware. It's got the sweet violet stamp up there at the top. Yeah, that's the pattern. You can look it up on um, replacements.com by that pattern. Norcrest, Japan. Just a really pretty luster wear plate that you could put your goodies in. Who doesn't like those pretty little violets? I know, right? Oh, I love those. And that's got some really pretty luster to it. Love it. Okay, Laura, what do you got? Laura, that was some video on the Instagram today. Oh, oh, did no. you see it? No. It was pretty great. Of me? Oh, yeah. Oh, no. 
<laughs> okay. All right. Pretty it great. is the plate. The sweet violet plate is just $9. $9. Yep. So it's $9 and it's number 36. Number 36 for the reticulated sweet violet plate. Yes. I see. I see. Maybe Tammy? Tammy Renee Walker. I have Tammy Renee Walker. Thanks, Tammy. Thanks, Tammy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, our third item. This, this is really valuable. <laughs> I have proof. <laughs> Wait for it. Okay, so it's this little swan planter. Okay. And parts of him are smooth, and then parts of him are kind of rough. So he's like duo-toned, kind of. So he's got some smooth parts and some rough parts. Right. Would you still consider him weeping gold? I don't know. I don't think so. But I think it's really pretty. But I like wait. It. Look. Hi, Jana Stevens. Look. <laughs> 22 karat gold. Solid gold. <laughs> Solid gold planter. Not uh, really. Not really. You're cute. But he does say 22 karat gold on the bottom. <laughs> There's his mark. It's pretty, though. Super mid-century. If you want mid-century on your shelves. See, I still think you should have put him on your new shelves over there, Mary Beth. But well, that's just me. Yeah. I've kind of filled it up already. <laughs> okay. So, you can... Get him for $15. $15. I'm weeping. $15. <laughs> and he is number 40. Number 40. $15. You can I put your ear plants in there. Up, shouldn't I? Well, like I should probably do those ahead of time. And do, anyway. Put your ear plants in there. What was it? Lisa Day says, don't we all have smooth parts and rough parts? That's the truth. Isn't that the truth? So, yeah. $15. Number 40. <laughs> Okay, let's see who you got. Let's see who we got. Corey. Thanks, she Corey. is awesome. <laughs> Thanks, Corey. Thank you, Corey. Jamie says he looks weak. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much, Corey. That will be coming your way. David, Toledo Antiques. It's hey, gold. David. It's gold paint. <laughs> Thanks, David. <laughs> I had everybody, everybody was fooled. Judith Wilburn, hello. Mm. She's just saying hello. That's a new name to me. So. Hey, Judith. Okay, this is a twofer. Sandra Smith has a tip for your focus, so that's good. Thanks, oh. Sandra. It's that, not for clear. everybody else. That's for a viewer. Yeah, oh. that's what I mean. We have a twofer. Okay, so we have a lusterware bowl, and mm. we have a set of little lustery salt and peppers. This is cute. I don't remember seeing this on the on our shelves. Yeah. So yeah, that's just a really pretty bowl. You could put your like jewelry in at the end of the day or whatever. It's marked. Yeah, let me see if I can read it. Okay. Okay. More Nortaki. Nortaki made in Japan is the mark. Oh yeah. That's cute. It's not focusing, but that's what it says. Now, on one of the feet, there's a little bit of paint that's been rubbed off right there on one of the feet. Oh, and I guess on more than one of them. Yeah, on each of the feet, the paint has been rubbed off just a little bit. But that's just a really pretty little lusterware bowl that you could put your stuff in. And then you're also going to get this little set of lustery salt and pepper marked Japan. The stoppers are not... They're they're inside. <laughs> yeah, I think somehow they've gotten uh, pushed through there. Yeah, so the cork stoppers are inside. So good luck with that. And for all of you guys who uh, watched the salt and pepper shaker video and emailed us, congratulations on getting those. We sold practically all of them. We have a few. We we have this we have this little set, and we had a few other unclaimed ones, but mostly they all they're got mostly claimed. all gone. Yeah, so thank you to everyone who bought salt and pepper. Pretty popular. 
Okay. So you're going to get the bowl and the little salt and pepper. Oh, I'm sorry. This is my part. $14. <laughs> and it's number 34. $14, number 34. $14, number 34. Sugar Rich just says I need a slurping and burping t-shirt now. <laughs> yeah, speaking of Fat Bird swag, if you guys haven't seen, I'm wearing our Fat Bird t-shirt. We do have a few of those if you want to uh, email us about those. The yeah. t-shirts are $15. We don't have a whole lot of those. Yeah, so. but it's mostly it's mostly just XL, 2XL. Maybe that's it. Yeah, it, there's a, yeah there's just a few. Of the, yeah. Of, of the large sizes. I think we've got maybe an XL, maybe a couple two XLs, maybe one at three X. I don't know. There's not many left though, but yeah. Okay. Let's see. The first person that I see with number 34 is Lynn Dowdy. Lynn Dowdy. Thank you so much. Thanks Lynn Dowdy. Let me see where I'm at. Where am I? I don't know. You're in my kitchen. Oh. <laughs> Lynn Dowdy. All right. Somebody asked who got the blue side eye bunny. Jamie. The very first person who emailed. And they must have emailed while watching the video when it first came out. Because, like I said, I look at all the timestamps on the on the emails. It was Jamie. Oh, I started to say, so you'll probably see it show up sometime. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Here is our next item. This little cute flamingo, right? Yes. I'm yes. I'm reading the chat again. <laughs> yes. I'm reading the chat again. I'm all involved. So this looks like a handmade piece to me. I think that somebody probably made this themselves. There's no mark on the bottom. He needs a little light in there. He needs a little candle or a little tea light. I don't think you could put a, a, a tea light in there, but I think, I think you could... Um, possibly stick some fairy lights in there well, that'd be cute because he's got these little cute cutouts that yeah. would be cool you can't you can't put a real candle because there's nowhere to vent it at the top but so it has to be something electronic will you write that or down battery what free range adulting thank you first of all for the super chat that's awesome you're awesome <laughs> can you add a hoodie to my order yeah we will if we've got one Yes, I'll let you, you'll know by the invoice whether we had it or not. Right, so yes and thank you so much. So yeah, this is a little handmade piece. Again, I think this hole is too small for a, a tea light, but you could probably stick some fairy lights in there. And again, just a little handmade piece, but very cute. <laughs> okay, Laura, what do you have on him? Uh, $12. $12. I think that's a bargain. $12 and he's number seven. $12 number seven for this little guy. Cute. Mm -hmm. I like him. <laughs> uh -huh. Where is it? Lisa Day. Doug Grimes said earlier, this will be the one where Corey had to keep sending you love to prove her gender. <laughs> I saw it. I just didn't read it out loud. I was like, oh, Doug. It's, it's, it's funny he, because it's true. So, at, by the way, while we're thinking about it, while we're talking about it, I mean, after the video is over, if you, when you're, you know, flipping back through tomorrow or sometime and you see it pop up, go down and comment below and name the video like, like a friend's episode. <laughs> and it's so much fun. You should go back and read the comments. The one where They're Mary so Beth funny. couldn't keep her shit straight. <laughs> the one where Laura said Santa shit. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's funny. Lottie Ward. Lottie. Lottie. Hi, Lottie. Lottie. Thanks, Lottie. Thank you so much, Lottie. You got it. You are the one. Okay. Be sure and email us. Did you put the email up there again one more time? Yeah, I will at the end. Okay. Zombie Kitty's brother. Did I show you that picture? No. I'll have to show it to Laura. But yeah. <laughs> Carrie found it. Well, somebody sent it to her. I don't remember. It may have been uh, Angela Marksberry or 
I don't remember who. Somebody sent it to Carrie, but it looks just like Zombie Cat's brother or sister. It's hilarious. <laughs> oh, that's funny. It's fantastic. That's really great. <laughs> okay. Guess what it is? You can't because it's a mystery. <laughs> it's everybody's favorite. Okay. It was Angel Marksberry. Okay. So we have a mystery box, but it's also the bonus elephant. Yeah. So I like it when you combine them. It's cute. Yeah. So this mystery box is going to contain this little mom elephant and this little baby elephant. Oh, look. And they're chained together. Okay. So these little guys will be in this box, among other things. This mystery box is going to be $20. This is a $20 bonus elephant mystery box. <laughs> now, if you're not familiar with the way we do mystery boxes, it's a whole thing, really. <laughs> <laughs> Why are the elephants in chains? I'm sad now. I don't know, Carrie, but if you win them, you're welcome to unchain them. <laughs> Set them free. I don't know why they do animals on chains. Do you? It's kind of weird. It's moms and babies. They're not really chained. They're just chained together forever. <laughs> you remember when they tried to make that a human thing? And they <laughs> invented those little halters with the leashes on them? <laughs> and some kids would run around on the leash? Did you ever leash your kids? No. Uh -huh. Nikki is raising her hand over there. She's like, I was leashed. <laughs> I don't think I was. <laughs> Anyway, I sold box. out of my mystery boxes. I need to buy more. Can you just go buy mystery boxes? Maybe. Okay. Mystery box. This is how we do our mystery boxes. This one's going to be $20. $20. $20. Now, if you're interested in buying it, we will give you the item number in just a moment. If you're interested, type the item number once into the chat. Okay? That's right. Then we're going to take the total number of people interested and spin a number, spin a random number between, say, 20 people are interested. We'll spin a random number between 1 and 20, and then we'll take the, the number in order and, and get the winner that way. And if you're new here, when we say winner, you win the opportunity to buy the mystery box. Right. Um, it's, it's not quite a giveaway. Right. But it is just a fun way uh, to let someone purchase it. Right. That, that wouldn't get a chance. And the reason we do it this way is because we typically have a lot of people interested in our mystery boxes. And if you don't have fast internet, you don't have a chance. So this evens the playing field, so to speak, and gives everybody a chance. Yeah. So. And it's fun. And it's a game. It's a game. <laughs> and that's what flipping and sipping is all about. Okay. So again, this mystery box will be $20. It will include these little guys. And more. And more. But yeah, there's the little elephants on chains. So, $20, and remember, please only type the number once into the chat. So, okay. $20. Number four. Number four. How does Mary Beth do four? Now, you, you do four regular. You don't do four like this, do you? No, what else? <laughs> who does that? <laughs> and all the fours, you don't have to, to not put it just because you see other people putting it. So. Right. We give you just a minute, yeah, and we'll, then we'll count them all. Yeah, if Mary Beth will type stop here in a minute. I will. Yes. Mm. Yeah, if you're interested, type in that number four. I better get my spinner out. <laughs> Start to say who got that? That's what we're doing. Who got what? <laughs> the bonus elephant, Mr. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay, so I'm going to type stop here in just a second. Nikki, actually, since we're we, since you don't have a lag with the people, why don't you type in stop? Nikki's going to type in stop. It's going to say Nikki Fuller, and it's going to say stop. So after she says stop, then it's over. Okay, I'm going to count. Woo, that's a lot of you guys. One, two. This is the sip and break while we count. I wish we could play music. Maybe we need to get some non copyrighted music to play while we're counting. Wouldn't that, that would be, be good. That would be good. We should do that. Are you aware, 
<laughs> I would sing if I could sing, but I can't. Why don't you let me count? I think I have 53. Let, why don't you let me count and you can sing? I think I have 53. <laughs> Not <laughs> yeah, I don't think I double counted Corey. Yeah, I don't think I did. So yeah, fifty-three. That's you, Laura. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's hot in here. Yeah, I didn't, Janice. Janice, I didn't count. I didn't count the people who doubled. We never do. We always have people that double. Or I, at least I tried not to. I can try to count again. Was, was that one? We'll just count one more time. Let me just count one more time. Yeah, I'm going to count one more time. Just, this is your drink break. Go refill your <laughs> drinks. Actually, I'm going to count on my phone. It'll be easier. How much stuff is in the box? It's, um, you always get your money's worth. If you, if you ever would buy a box and you didn't think that you got your money's worth, then you can always send it back. It's, we put a lot of stuff in there. Um, I think a good example is, um, obviously it'd be the item that we show. Um, just, it just depends on what we find. So most recently we've had a lot of scarves. So like, I think the last box I did, there was a scarf, there was a linen, there was a piece of jewelry. Um, let's see, there's a lot of times there's some ephemera, like a postcard or, you know, old ticket stubs or, you know, something really cool like that that you could use in junk journaling. Uh, sometimes there'll be something else, another little figurine of some sort, um, a Wade Whimsy. I mean, that's a lot of stuff. In a box for 20 bucks, right? Mm -hmm. So I was wrong. It was 49. 49. Okay. I didn't count the duplicates that time. Okay. Okay. 49. Laura's going to spin. She wasn't ready. I was talking that whole time. I was doing real good. I got hot. Did you just put your hair up? Yeah. <laughs> Who had, what time is it? <laughs> 9 43. Are you okay. going to spin or what? I am, but I'm just, you know, making it last. Okay, here we go. It's the moment of truth. What did you tell me? You said 49. 49. Okay, that's right. Do it. That's right, that's right. Okay. What's it going to be? Oh, it's early one. Ooh. It's an early one. Oh, y'all wait till I fill my wine glass. Maybe she said that a while back. It's number three. Remember the other day when it was like the last one? Yeah. <laughs> okay, I have to look at it on my phone. <laughs> okay, ready? I'm ready. One, two, three. Right? Right there? Yeah. Okay. Now, my chat doesn't go far enough back because so many of you have, have <laughs> chatted. I can't put the person up, but it's Fancy Panda. Yay, Fancy Panda. Yeah, Mazzy wrote it. Fancy Panda. My chat <laughs> in StreamYard doesn't go far that many. That's never happened before. <laughs> no, it hasn't. I guess we've had too many comments between now and then. But Fancy Panda, Yay. you are the winner of the mystery box. So you have the opportunity to purchase the mystery box. Thank you, Mazzy, for putting in Fancy Panda. Fancy Panda, what an adorable name. Okay, guys, so those of you who were winners, make sure that you send us an email, fatbirdfinds at gmail.com. We need your YouTube name along with your real name. We need your mailing address, and we need your PayPal email address. All right. All right. Way to go, everybody. Yeah, that was fun. Okay, so that concludes the Fat Bird 5 plus the bonus elephant mystery box. Fantastic. Great we job. It. Thanks, everybody. We did it. Guys, don't go away because Laura and I are going to make a candle later. We have a candle making set. You might want to drink a little more before that happens. It's a candle making set. Design and personalize your own unique candles. Guess what? I've got content that we can see in the meantime.
We will. Oh, did she get her horse? Thanks, Danny. Danny. Okay, so we can tell you now, Danny bought Diablo, if you guys have been watching our videos, for Rachel, her daughter, who is mm -hmm. an avid horse um, collector and lover. Yes. We <laughs> so didn't want to awesome. say that out loud <laughs> on the off chance that we would spoil a surprise, but <laughs> we're really glad that she likes it. Yay. That's awesome. Th and thank you, Danny, for the super chat. You That's so sweet. It's very kind to us. We appreciate it. Danny, when your box comes for that has Melissa's thing in it and your grumpy bird and stuff, you have a surprise in there. Yeah, you do. <laughs> you do. That's yeah, exciting. That'll be fun. Okay. So let's do content first and then we'll do the candle. Mm -hmm. What a disaster. Are you going to make the candles and sell them? You guys fill up your drinks oh my before God. we make those candles. You guys, Annie, Annie, okay, Annie nobody's going to want that. <laughs> I can assure. I told Mary Beth, I was like, maybe we should make crafts like in vintage things. Like, but we can't make them in the tea, the candles and the teacups because the candles are supposed to be pretty. Like you're supposed to be able to see through them. Yeah. I think that the idea is that you can see <laughs> The design from the outside. Oh, this includes four glass candle holders, eight bags of colored wax. This is going to be a disaster, by the way. <laughs> so, Mary Beth? Yeah. I have a surprise for you. For me? Well. Well. The content tonight is stuff you haven't seen yet. Really? Most of it. All right. And there's one... <sighs> And there's one really good surprise. <laughs> Taking bets on whether they burn themselves or the house down first. Yeah, well, you, you that place, is, that'll be good because I am hazard prone. Place your bets now, everybody. Do you know in the fifth grade that my lab partner set my hair on fire with a Bunsen burner? And I went to the bathroom and cried. Wait, wait. <laughs> Why are you using a Bunsen burner in the fifth grade? That's pretty advanced, right? I think so. Yeah, me too. I, I would never turn a fifth graders loose with the matches. I don't think I knew what a Bunsen burner was until I was in high school. Yeah. Maybe I did. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. So you've got content. Tammy Renee Walker, if I bought before, do I need to resend? Well, well, <laughs> you might want to do that. Just, I mean, I'm trying. I just don't have my list perfected yet. So mm. sometimes doing I'm doing my Laura's best. Laura's doing her best. I'm going to have to have a a, a within kind of name. We could probably find it, Tammy, but just on the off chance that we can't find it we'll let you we'll we'll send you an email if we can't find it Corey you're get you're gonna get in trouble <laughs> you're gonna have to stop it we have got some cute stuff from layman's okay wait a second what we appreciate it Corey thank you so much <laughs> but seriously we we love you and I'm sorry about earlier <laughs> you're fine what did your mama say when that happened, Laura? I don't think she was very pleased. I don't. She's on here. Ask her. <laughs> we do love crazy Corey. Amen. Okay. No trouble. <laughs> Thank goodness. We don't like trouble. I hate trouble. Okay. So I went shopping on my shelf at Layman's. I have my own personal shelf at Layman's that Gee and... Um, my mom keep filled up with goodies. I put my money in a little box there for me to have for the next go around. And then they fill back up my shelf. <laughs> nice. Yeah. It's really cute. Okay. So I don't really, I've kind of, I haven't really looked really good at all these, but this is kind of cute. This might be cute in a mystery box. Is Look. that for cross stitch? Yeah. It's for cross stitch. Yeah. Carrie, it really Oops. good. Isn't that sweet? Usually I'm drinking Chardonnay and that doesn't do it to me. But when I'm drinking red wine, it makes me hot. <laughs> Your face is flushed. I know. Look at her. Isn't she adorable? She's she's okay. Oh, I think she's sweet. Oh, Sugar Bird just says, that's me. <laughs> See, Lori Ann, you didn't even know that you were going to be on the show tonight. Maybe we should do cross stitch as a craft. Oh, definitely. But that's not very fun to watch. Yeah. <laughs> that would take me... Like it's not very funny to watch somebody do, right? Needlepoint, not cross stitch. Are they? I don't know. Oh, that's right. That's right. Uh, cross stitch is more on a cloth. See, that shows what I know about needlepoint. But that's very small, so it's petty point because that's really small for needlepoint. Thanks. That, that grid. Thanks, Beth, for pointing that out. <laughs> for pointing that out. Get it? I made a joke. Oh, you're so good. 
Good night, Charlotte. So look, the um, <laughs> the yeah, uh, my face is hot. Mexican pottery with the Mexican painting and everything that's gotten really popular, like the Tanala birds and all that. So I just think this little tray is cute. That's really cute yeah, with this little, you know, fiesta kind of pattern. It's really pretty. I like, I like it. That. It's just like it's really lightweight. But it's not that composition stuff that we sometimes have had. I yeah. think it is wood. That's wood. For, it's that's light. It's legit. legit. It's been repaired. I like to show that. If any of you guys are ever interested in anything we show, this has been repaired. It looks like that handle's been broken and oh, glued back together. A surprise. Front porch we, picker. We can't open that one yet. Will you write down front porch picker? Yeah. I can. Have, have, they, bought, have they purchased from us before? Front porch picker, will you send us your information? We'll send you some stickers. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. Okay. But yeah, that's really cute. I like that a lot. I like it. Mm -hmm. And oh, there's stuff in this one. Damn. Oh, is it a million dollars? <laughs> Not a million dollars. Well, my mom packed this so good, she like put stuff inside of stuff. I was not expecting that. Maybe one of these days we'll, we're going to find something with a million dollars. Any day now. Oh, that's sweet. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> I think that's sweet. It's a little baby shoe planter. From Porch Picker says we have their info. Okay. Did you write that down? Yeah. Yes, I did. I, I'll take your word for that. Thank you. So that's cute. I don't know about that. <laughs> I've got something that you're really gonna I don't like. like this. This makes me feel uncomfortable. Why? I don't know. It feels bad. It feels really bumpy and <laughs> rough. It feels like sandpaper. There's a pretty little um, hand painted Asian themed dish of some sort. It's not marked or anything. It's cute. Just decorative. Yeah, that's cute. That'd be good in a mystery box. I um, love stuff like this. Because you always need something to like put your earrings in or your rings in or your snacks in. <laughs> what kind of, oh, these are so cute. Wait a minute. Wait for it. I'm waiting. I'm so patient. Yeah, don't look. Show the tin first while I get these two written. This one? Yeah. It's the, the, the tin's kind of cute. What was inside the tin is adorable. It's, it's not vintage, but yeah, it's fine. It is, I think. It's like, this is not vintage. This? No. This is I was like, talking to the chat. This is like an octagon with flowers on it. She wants to see this. Ruthanne doesn't like it rough. A Snoopy tin. But yeah, it's, but it's for milk bones. Isn't that cute? Well, isn't that cute? I love it. Look at that. Flavor snacks. Oh, he's so excited to have his little snack. That's really cute. Now you guys don't don't get scared with the, these these salt and pepper shakers because they're cute, but they're um oh wow. Look at this. Saw a news report today that an antique Chinese porcelain bowl bought at a yard sale for $35 was sold at auction for something like three hundred thousand dollars. Wow. That would be something I would do for sure. <laughs> what sell it at the auction? I mean, sell it at the yard sale for $35 without knowing. Corey, you're all good. It's no problem. No problem at all. None. Oh, yeah. Zero problems. No big deal. Okay. So these are really cool, but the more I look at them, they might be just a tad bit weird. Oh. But they're salt and pepper shakers. I do have a little boo-boo here and there, but look at these. Oh. <laughs> Oh my gosh. What is it? <laughs> this is like some sort of pineapple head person. They're anthropomorphic, but they're kind of like, usually anthropomorphic is like cartoon and kind of crazy. Oh, yours is an looking, onion. But yeah, look at that. This one is a pineapple. Look at little, little, little tiny eyes. This one's a pineapple. Yeah. Why would pineapple and onions go together? Isn't that odd? I don't oh, think no. so. Oh, no. That one's really definitely a pineapple. 
Danny says those are big money. Seriously. I know. Aren't they cool? Let me show this pineapple one closer. They're really old, I think. But, you know, they're usually cute anthropomorphic, but these are like, hmm. Yeah. <coughs> and me, that's not a pineapple. It is. It looks like one. Who says that? Carrie. Really? Look, his head is like <laughs> diamond cut. What else would it be? I don't think it's an onion. No, I think it's just random, you know. Turn it? This, this one, maybe. This one has a faint Japan mark on his foot that you can barely see. Um, These are funny. I know, aren't they? I like them. But don't they look, I mean, they look just really old. Yeah. He's a shallot. Could be. <laughs> a leak. You're a shallot. <laughs> <laughs> Diane, thank you so much. Shed scarecrow. Diane yeah, is like, no, that I'm is like... definitely a pineapple. <laughs> Thanks, Diane. Diane is my BFF. But yeah, I thought you guys would really like those. They, oh, I thought I thought he was going to show. He could like sit here as our no. little mascot. <laughs> oh, and look, this one's sense. like sitting with his legs splayed out behind him. Mm -hmm. These are really weird. They have a couple of little tiny paint chips. And look, they have their stalkers. Awesome, right? Cute. Okay. What else you got? We got, let me see. Oh, mom did such a good packing job of all this stuff. Pineapple and garlic? Question mark. Here's another tin that's cute. We'll have to do a tin sale again. Again? <laughs> that was fun. I like the tin sale. Wow. I really like it when we turn them into mystery boxes. Look at that. Danny says, I wouldn't list those for less, less than $100. Really? That's awesome. Wow. Laura's excited. I know. I love, I love finding stuff out like that. Isn't that cool? Yeah. I'm excited. Oh, wait. Somebody said shallot and pineapple, salt and pepper. Maybe they looked it up. <laughs> okay. All right. So this is just, I mean, this is just a, That's it's cute. not very old. It's just a little old fashioned looking. Right. To two year old. That's yeah. cute. Yeah. It's got a barcode on the bottom. So that's not vintage, but it looks it. Let's see what was in there. Um, what's your favorite thing so far? What? Carrie says, how about $5 and an edible? <laughs> I'll take that. Uh, Sarah Lee says, I missed your tin sale. I love tins. Well, it was one of those times where um, you probably would have had to have been subscribed, you know, where you hit the bell and you get notified because we, we just, just kind of did it on a whim. We decided to go through this box of tins that we didn't pay very much money for. And I was like, Mary Beth, if we're going to take the time to go through it, why don't we just sell them? And we did. And it was fun. And then every once in a while, we made one a mystery uh, box. And it was fun. Uh, yeah. I used to do it in my middle school dances <laughs> with my friends all the time. <laughs> do it. No. <laughs> that would be very embarrassing. Your kids over there would just die. <laughs> These are cute. These are just, you know. They're just cute. Yeah, they're not vintage, are they? <laughs> no. Look at their little blue bandanas, though. Yeah, those are cute. Those are pretty cute. <laughs> I like it. Jesus. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah, we better not do that. Yeah. Oh, wait. This one is marked a little bit. What does it say? L E A T? Lead? No, maybe it's L-E-A-D. Big Lead China. Hmm. I think that's what it says. Big Lead China, whatever that means. Oh, you might not like hey, them. Hey, Katie. He's cute, though. It's vintage and vinyl. It's Katie. <laughs> Got a little duck planter. Who is it that likes the little blue duck, the ducks with the blue bows? Nicole Nesting Haven. Nesting Haven. Yep. That's cute. He needs a little blue bow on his neck. He's cute. He's made in Taiwan. Okay, I've got to sprinkle some really exciting things in here. Oh. Okay, this, you guys wait. Wait till you see her open this. Well, wait a minute, I'm not ready. Okay, you want me to show something else? Yeah, I've got to make some room. 
They're saying blue bow boots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mom, you did such a good job packing the stuff up. They're, they're yelling at you. They're not ducks with the blue bows. They're geeks. Oh, sorry. You have to get it right. Hey, I'm going to say one thing about our watchers. Yes. Uh oh, if, we're blurry. Okay. If we say something wrong, they're going to be like, hey, that's wrong. <laughs> oh, is Patrick here? Hi, Patrick. Hey, Patrick. Okay. <gasps> All right, Mary Beth. What? I see them. I oh. see a sneak peek. Yeah, that you're going to like that, but you're really going to like this. Oh. Okay. This is so, exciting. You open this. Okay. Okay. I'm going to keep getting this other one out. I'm going to like this. Yes. What is it? I think. I think. Oh, do you know some people don't like this noise? This rough, rustling paper noise? Yeah, sorry. We should give, we're supposed to give a warning if we do that. <gasps> <laughs> Guy did not even know what she found here. <laughs> oh, she's naughty. Okay, so we've got a dragonware cup. The the bummer is there's no saucer. Oh, no saucer. That's a bummer. Look at the little paint on the on the uh, handle. The Moriyagi. Oh, she is like. I don't. Hold on. I've got to um, find a flashlight. Actually, you've confused her thing. Yeah. I think with the duck and the. The, uh, Wait a second. Goose. Let me see if I can get this to work. Oh, yeah, look. That's probably enough detail. <laughs> I mean, this one's really... Mm. Oh, yeah, she is like... I'm, try I'm trying my best yes. here. <laughs> yeah, she is um, really excited about it. <laughs> I've seen the ones with like their full body when they're just like... Uh -huh. in a pose but she's just it's like from the waist up and she's just like hey <laughs> that's fantastic isn't that great so gee picked this up and she didn't realize yeah so when i when i was she came in when i was there picking up all my stuff and i was like gee man whoa and she goes what i don't what are you talking about did you show her yeah <laughs> i showed her and she goes oh my god <laughs> Was she mortified? <laughs> she was like, oh, I, I didn't know that. That's fantastic. Oh, I love that. Danny says she needs a little hot tea. <laughs> Don't you love it? Yes. Mm -hmm. That's a great one. I love it. Okay, we've got, uh-oh. They might have uh -oh. saw a sneak peek of that. Hang on. So we're getting towards the end here. Let's see. <laughs> what? She definitely didn't breastfeed two giant baby boys. <laughs> um, I can't. Let's see. Okay. These are cute. I can rustle around some more, but you want to see the really cool things? Yeah, hold on. Let me show these. Okay. I'm trying to get the price tag off. Somebody saw a little piece of Amberina there. <laughs> ah! Okay, here we go. These are just little metal watering can salt oh, and peppers. Yeah, those, those are cute. cute. Okay, would you all right, Mary Beth? Look. Wow, look at that. Okay, as if that's not pretty enough. As if there are a pair. <gasps> can we drink out of these? <laughs> Oh my, we were getting into some trouble. And then, there's a couple of little rough spots on here, but here, you do yours, I'll do mine. Oh my gosh, look at this. Wow, look at those. Aren't they gorgeous? Careful. I know. <laughs> those are beautiful. Nikki, did you get the black light? Yeah, yeah somebody said black flashlight, black flashlight. <laughs> Wow, we those are... just leave it sitting up here. I don't know what's the matter with us. Yeah, I know. Can we drink out of these though? Sure. 
<laughs> it's in a bowl there on that first shelf when you walk in on your left. I know. I think these are gorgeous. Or it was. Yeah, you show yours good. I'm going to make sure there's nothing else in the bottom of the box. But That's gorgeous. And you might need to hit the lights. We haven't even tried this. Maybe it doesn't glow at all. It might not. Yeah, it does. The amber, the amber part does. Oh, yeah. See, the very tip top there definitely does. And then the bottom does. Very, very nice. I love it. Gorgeous. Okay, you can turn them back on. Love it. Gorgeous. I, I do too. I think those are so So good. who found these? Mom found those. Good job, Mom Joy. found those and she's like, oh my gosh. Um, yes. Somebody wanted to trade those for something. And she's like, yes. Yes, <laughs> yes. My daughter would love that. Those are great. I love it. I think that's it, Mary Beth. I think that's the bottom of the box. Do you want to hand me the other one? Oh, sure. Yeah, you can put them behind this. Cadmium. Yes, you guys. Like... Those are beautiful. You've probably heard that before, but the I think they say that cadmium is what glows in the amberina instead of uranium. Those are beautiful. <laughs> you know who's trying to uh, start a label? Of course. We wouldn't expect anything less from you, Carrie. I'm rattling around the papers, but I think we got it all out of there. Is that so, all of it? Yeah, so that was some cute stuff, right? Good job. Yeah. Well, you did much better than my little yard sale one item <laughs> haul. Somebody said they just emailed about the salt and pepper shakers, the little metal ones. Oh, cool. Good deal. Okay. Okay, friends. Laura, are you ready to start this? I don't know. What if this is hard? Like, what well, if we can't do it? You're going to have to move your stuff. Okay. I bet we can do it. You think? What was your favorite piece? Mm. The, those. By far. These? Yeah. And then the, uh, and then the geisha, the teacup. Because that was awesome. And then those weird salt and peppers. Uh, those weird salt and peppers are pretty awesome. Yeah. But those uh -huh. are gorgeous. Those are beautiful. I love Amberina. <laughs> those are gorgeous. Melissa says cadmium or selenium. Very nice. Wow. Very nice. The ear. Okay, so I'm going to need for you to like put this and this over in your chair. Okay. We're going to get ready for We're this get candle making endeavor. I can't believe we haven't even looked at the directions. Okay, and I need you to, to move your well, drink. Well, no, we don't have to have a drink. That's fine. I'm going to move this <laughs> over. So I'm going to get my computer and I'm going to move it over here. Somebody says the geisha is their favorite. Okay. So the teacup. It is pretty awesome. Okay. So the computer's over there now. So you're in charge. You're going to have to go to the kitchen for the candles. I think this is like a, a lesser candle making project. Oh, this is going to be terrible. <laughs> no, so it's like, it's not like, well, I'm just telling them. It's not like usual, like where you have to um, cook. Anything. No, it's a like a kit from Walmart. I think it's like for five year olds. Yeah, something. it's for little kids. Eight year olds or something. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so here's the mouse. So you're in charge of comments. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna open this. Okay. This is gonna be a nightmare. <laughs> Beth, you need a double boiler. You need all kinds of stuff. Yeah, if we have to have all that, then I can't do it. They're saying that Nikki needs to put the burn center on speed dial so we know how to get in touch with them. I can't even open this box. Good night, Christina. Good night, Christina. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm not having problems. Finding a stein with a lady is on my thrift want to find list. Yeah. That'd be awesome. Hi, Dixie. We're opening a package. Dixie thinks it's for her. Doug, who is the adult supervision here? It's Katie. Laura. Oh. <laughs> I said it's me. It's Katie. Obviously it's me. 
Mazzy says you need a Bunsen burner for it. <laughs> okay. Here's some stuff. We need directions. Oh, here are the little candle holders. Oh boy. These are these will be stunning. Yeah. <laughs> Ah. I feel like it smells weird. <laughs> well done. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I don't oh, like I like this. this one better. I feel like this smells weird. Megan, you want to make a candle? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> At least the days of Laura might need to put your hair up too. Yeah, maybe so. It's true. Maybe. All the animals, food, get down. Get off the table. Dixie, what do you want? <laughs> We're rattling packaging until they think that the, they're going to, you know, get a bite of something. Yeah. Okay. The one where Nikki is a firefighter. Instructions. Oh my God. <laughs> The instructions are in Comic Sans. <laughs> what a terrible sign. <laughs> Jamie. Jamie. Jamie, the instructions are in Comic Sans. My mom says, Laura, you missed it. What did I miss? <laughs> okay. Instructions. Select one of the glass containers. That's number one. <laughs> oh, boy. So I'm going to do this one. Then I'll do this one. Okay. Here, I'm going to tilt the camera down in just a second uh, after we figure out what we're doing. Number two, candle wicks consist of core and plastic beads. Put candle core and plastic beads together. Oh, my God. I'm going to go ahead and tilt the camera down. Will you make that comment go away? <laughs> I'm going to tilt well, this down. I don't down. have to. <laughs> you can, Laura. How's that? Well, it's okay, but that little comment was not going to, you know, spoil anything. Okay. This says... You said I'm in charge of the comments. Okay. Candle wicks consist of core and plastic beads. Put candle core and plastic beads together. What does that mean? <laughs> I feel like we're missing something. Well, these are the plastic beads. Oh, here it is. Here it is. It's this. This is oh, the wicks. It's what they hold the. It's what they hold the wicks. Okay, like. so we're supposed to put a candle core. This is ridiculous. <laughs> oh, Melissa, you're so nice. Okay, here's a wick for you. Oh boy. And a wick for me. Okay, what color do you want your little core to be? The Blue. kids are laughing at us. I think I hear snickering. That's never a good sign. I'll be green. Well, you're not even gonna see these, right? I don't know. Okay, I think then you put this in this. Okay, that's great. Well, that's not great. This is my I'm, handle so far. It's surely supposed to do something besides that. I don't know. Oh, God. <laughs> this says, with adult supervision, oh. cut off one corner of the bag of colored powder wax. <laughs> this will create a spout to pour the wax. Nikki, oh, I bet this is a great... I'm coming. We need some scissors. Adult supervision is coming. <laughs> we need some scissors. You get a wig. You get a wig. Everyone gets a wig. They're afraid this is going to take forever. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, thank you. Oh, boy. Okay. Put the candle wick inside the glass container, hold the candle core, and pour the wax into the glass container. Okay. You want pink? Sure. Really? I don't like pink anything. Okay, here we go. Well, don't pour the whole thing in there. Why not? Well, because you can't make any designs if you just pour the whole bag in there. 
We kind of did it. I'm supervising. <laughs> We're not doing anything it dangerous. Said, it said you needed adult supervision for this part. There's this so far. Will you read that and make sure we're doing this right? Oh, I don't know. What's this funnel for? And well, what's this for? <laughs> and what's this for? <laughs> well, it's okay. So see, you're gonna you're gonna make a little design. So like if you go like this, oh, using the shaping stick. Add as many colorful layers as desired. This is mine. Be creative with your color selection. Fill the glass containers with layers of colorful wax. The shaping stick is used to make designs in the wax. To make designs with the shaping stick, pour at least three layers of colored wax into the glass container. Slide the stick down along the side of the glass oh. over the layers. Okay. Once you remove the stick, the top wax color will fill the layers below. How are the candles if the wax isn't melted? I'm so confused. I know, right? <laughs> Nikki, help them. I'm trying. I'm doing my best. But what's this funnel for? I don't know. I need the scissors. No, I've got the scissors. Ugh. Here. I'm with you guys. Well, how is it going to be? I mean, how is it going to be? How is it going to burn? I guess you just use the funnel to make your design if you want to be fancy like that. I've got to stand it up. It's going to spill everywhere. You have to just keep it Here's mine so far. Wow. The design is only going to be seen from the outside of the glass. So... Keep that in mind as you're doing your thing. This is hard. We should have done the magic glowing box. For up on my Xanax stash. Who said that? Jamie. Jamie. Cindy B, thank you. I just love Friday nights. <laughs> Oh, look at that. This is so great. You're already almost done. But I mean, I guess, we, you know, surely we should be able to like... Oh, wait. I'm doing real good, by the way. <laughs> wait. You can't see that very good. You're out of the frame. Totally. Oh, okay. When you're... Uh... When you're happy with your layers and your design, you need to make sure it's filled up to the top so that there's enough powdered wax to keep the wick standing up. And then you're going to squish it down with your fingers and pack it down. Mm -hmm. And then before lighting, make sure there's an adult present oh. and ask the adult to light the candle. So that's me. Okay. Okay, look. Oh, look how cute that is. See, I've, I've got little, little pink in mine. Wow. Let me little, what do you call them? Stalactites or stalagmites? Which what? One go, which one go down from the top of the cave? Nobody Tites. knows what you're talking about. Stalactites go up from the top of the cave. I'm doing a great job. Thank you. Corey did another super chat. Corey's grounded. Uh oh, I made a mess. Who had 1020 before Mary <laughs> Ruth Ann spilled something? Well, Mary Beth, are you going to be junk journaling? Junk journaling? Joelle would like to know if you and I will be junk journaling. Uh, no, that's just me. I want to do it. You said you didn't want to do it. Well, now I do. Christy Williams, I'm the adult here. Mine's better than yours, Laura. Oh, wait. You haven't seen mine. It's really good. Look at mine. Isn't that cute? It looks like a dessert of oh, some yeah. sort. Oh, my gosh. Laura's is the best. Oh. Or bring yours down a little. I can't. Hold oh, on. I'll, I'll tilt that here in just a second. 
job, Laura. Vinny, I can remember our science teacher saying, tight like they hold tight from the top, select tight. And I think of stalagmites because mites crawl along the bottom of the ground. Front porch figure. Jump journaling's fun, but mine never turns out right. <laughs> right? That's pretty cute. You better have more in yours. Well, I'm working on it. <laughs> it won't burn if you just. We can't have all that wick. I guess you can trim it. Standing up there. There's the scissors. Mm -hmm. Hey, you copied off me. That's what I did. Urdan, I've been doing it. Urdan's getting serious. You need to get closer. I'm doing a damn good job. Look at that. <laughs> yes, we're going to light them. We are? Yeah. Hold on, I'm not ready. You're going to use it all up. What do you mean? Why is this... I don't understand. Look, I can't wait to see if this gets melty. What did Ruth Ann do? Okay, let's tilt the camera. Back. Do you think mine needs more or you think it's okay? I think yours is fine. Okay, look. Okay, show yours, Laura. Okay, wait, I'm going to cut the wick off of mine, right? Um, I mean, we can't have all that wick standing up there like that. Yeah, it'll be a torch. Uh oh. You better see it. Uh huh. Okay. Here's mine. Oh, Nikki, I got it. There's mine. Mine's better than yours. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. I don't understand. Mine's good. It's like dipping dots. It's like little bitty sand wax. All right, let's see what happens when we light them. Oh, you need adult supervision. I'm probably supposed to light them for you. Oh, we need a lighter. <laughs> Be careful. That's hard to do. Uh-oh. What? what did you, do? you cut yours off really short. No. What was this for? <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> okay, here we go. I've made a candle. Wow. We did it. Now I'm going to do Laura's. Very nice. Good job, guys. There's such a glare. You can't really tell that that's happening. This was really anticlimactic. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Hey, thanks. Nice job. Katie, you know you're all about a candle, right? What do you think? Very funny. I wish that it was more solid. Because, I mean, if this tips over, all this is just going everywhere. Turn off the lights. <laughs> Nikki, turn off the lights. Jazzy. <laughs> Oh yeah. Oh now now we're really oh boy. That is really something. That's some craftsmanship right there. We gotta come up with some gluing crafts. It looks like a vigil. It looks like they're having some kind of vigil. It's not melting? Yeah, well it's it is a little bit. You can the glare is really bad. Yeah, the glare is terrible. I don't really so yeah, you can see where it's yeah, it's trying to melt. Where'd the lighter go? <laughs> Katie from Vintage and Vinyl said, "I feel like I'm at a concert without any music." Me too. <laughs> oh, that's funny. This was dumb. <laughs> you picked the candles. Rock painting should be next. You know what I saw when I was trying to find the crafting kit? They have galactic 
rock painting kits. They do? Yeah. Jamie, you need that for your kids. You know how you said you wanted to find the galactic Easter egg kit? Yeah. They have rocks <sighs> with all that. That was a lot. <laughs> so, yeah, it, like, melted in the middle. It melted in the... No. Uh, just want to step away. <laughs> Danny yeah. says, I'll come out there and we can make cheese. Now that would be a hoot with you two. Oh yeah. Danny, yeah, come on. So yeah, it melted in the middle and then it like formed a little wax blob. I don't like it. <laughs> it's not ideal. It's is not ideal. It's not the best craft I've ever seen. Yeah, we could do better. Yeah, I really don't recommend it. This is a, like a five broken base out of five. And now I've got all these little wax pellets all over the place. I wonder what else we could make a candle out of. Like, we need to make something. We need to take all this and pour it in something and make it some weird candle. Well, the wicks probably won't be long enough for something. Oh, true. Get, get a friendship bracelet making kit. That'd be good. You need to let it burn longer. I'm gonna let mine burn. We'll see. Yeah, I got impatient. What is that doing? Well, just exit it. It oh. was an update. Oh. It's all. It's still all loose stuff. Yeah. Yeah. It's just like dipping dots, basically, except they're just really little. I'll let mine burn while we're doing something else. Whoops. And then I'll show you how it ends up. Put them in the microwave. That's an idea. We Where's could, the lighter? I don't know. We can play a game. Okay. We can play some sort of trivia. Okay. What's my favorite color? You're just going to make stuff up? Well, no. That's a real question. Um, <laughs> your favorite color is yellow. That's true. What? <laughs> what? What? Her? No, it isn't. It's yellow. <laughs> Pot holders. Yeah. Oh, they're guessing your color. Oh, <laughs> it's blue. Mine's blue. Surprise, surprise. You only ever wear blue. Macrame. That's great. That's a good one. Macrame oh. wall hangings. You know what? I don't think I will be good at that. I had a friend at work start making those in her spare time, and she made Katie and Megan one, and they're very cute. Aren't they, Katie and Megan? Yeah. Megan's is kind of small, but Katie's is big. It hangs over her bed, and it's really pretty. Hmm. Mm -hmm. When we're in the in the, where's the lighter? Laura, I don't know. Let's play a game. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here's what's going to happen. Nikki... I need some help. Katie Vintage and Vinyl Red is a close, it, it's a close one for me. I love red too. Can you give me like three sandwich bags? Yeah. Thanks. All this time, it's yellow instead of orange. It is. Well, yeah. <laughs> it's true. I do like orange, but it's not my favorite. Thanks. Decoupage, yes. Yeah. What is decoupage? That's what we're going to do. Next week, that's what we're going to do. We're going to decoupage something. What is it? You take little magazine uh, clippings and you find like some cute table or box or something and you and you decoupage, you glue it all over and then you glue all over the top and it's decoupaged on there. But isn't it then just, just ruined it? <laughs> no. It sounds like you would ruin it if you did that. No. No? It's really cute. Have you seen those little purses that they make like that? No. Or that they used to make in the 70s? Like I don't that? get out much. No, I know what decoupage is. I need one more of these, please. Okay. <laughs> I've decoupaged eggs. The one where subscribers fell asleep watching wax milk. True. <laughs> That's, That's good. good. Okay, so let's put this away. 
And then you can try to follow a Bob Ross painting tutorial. I think that would be a hoot. That's a good idea. That would be funny. That's really good. Maybe let's do that. Because I've always thought that we could do that. I he actually just goes. He <laughs> makes that tree. A tree. <laughs> then he I, makes a tree. I'm always like fascinated by that. Let's do that. I have some canvases here and some paint, so we can do that. Well, but that's kind of an unfair advantage because you're good at it. No, I'm not. Oh, my gosh. She's so good at it. It's not true. <laughs> and I'm really bad. I'm like, not a painter. You are a painter. I'm no, really, I'm not. I'm really bad, though. Like, I can't really even draw, like, for Pictionary or something. I've never had a painting class, so I don't consider well, myself. That's just period. But I've never been taught how to do it. Yes. You're just naturally I've never been taught how to paint. Right. Mom, my mom votes for Bob Ross. Okay, we'll do that next week. You know what? Those things are kind of collectible. I don't know if we can just find a Bob Ross tutorial. I guess I guess YouTube or whatever has can, something you can follow along, Can you right? pick up your stuff so I can move the computer back? Because I feel like it's like a million miles away. I no, I it. like it over here. This is <laughs> I can't see it very good over there. Okay. Here. Mm -hmm. I got you, but we got to keep the candle going because... Yeah, that's fine. I'm just going to move it back. Oh, okay. Whoops. Now then. No. Jamie, have you ever been to one of those? Jamie says we can have a, a wine and painting party. We, Mary Beth and I actually, we went to one of those that was a Christmas one. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, God. that was ridiculous. Oh, my Lord. Mine was terrible. It was terrible. You tried to do too much on yours. And then... You X'd it all out and try to make it something else and then put spots on it. <laughs> I don't know how you remember that. I don't remember that. You okay. don't have to have lessons to be a painter, says Val M. I guess that's true. She's just downplaying it, Val M. <laughs> I had many drawing classes in college, but I didn't have any painting classes. Did you save your art? Yes. Who said that? Yes. I did. It's all pretty list what all we need so we can paint with you. Maybe we'll do that. No, nobody puts Ruthann in the corner. <laughs> pre list what all you need. That's a fun idea. Maybe I'll do that. <laughs> That'll be funny. Maybe we'll do that. We can paint a... along and then post her pics to Instagram. Sugar yeah. riches. That's a good idea. That'd That's a good great. idea. Let's do that. We can come up with the hashtag that we need for everybody to find. We can come up with like an easy one. Yeah. yeah. That'd be great. Mm -hmm. Let's do it. I'm in. I'm in. Okay. That'll be good. Mm -hmm. Yay. I had a great like idea. <laughs> yes. Yes, he did. <laughs> my friends stopped inviting me because mine looked better than the instructor. Of course it did. Of course they did, Jamie. And of course, you don't want to be invited. You don't you're not want to invite the ringer. All right. I guess not. <laughs> oh, Jamie, did you get booted out of the group? <laughs> That's sad. Yeah, I don't know. I've never painting is weird to me because I feel like you. Sh I feel like you should start with the background fully, and then paint what's next, and then paint what's next, and then paint what's next. But I don't think that's really how you do it. I think you kind of draw on it, and it's more of a paint-by-number type thing. I think you draw first and then fill in. I don't really know. I don't it's really like It's like that movie we were watching the other night uh, about the girl on fire or whatever. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I don't know. I feel like I need to have a class. Maybe you guys can teach me how to paint. There you go. Have guests like Misty and do the paint and wine. That would be fun. That would be a lot of fun. Nate! New hey. backdrop. Not, not really. We've just shifted around the table just a bit. Pianos. Piano's still there. We just turned. Scoot over a little. Let Nate see those Amberina vases back there. Diane, that's how you edit on Photoshop. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. That's what I do for a living as a graphic designer. So, yeah. Sort of how you do it. <laughs> but it doesn't work with other types of paint. Gotcha. Scoot over so Nate can see those. In Marina Vases. Those like are those. awesome. Have you guys ever seen paint pours? They are fun too and pretty easy. I think I've seen that. I think we can't like uh, 
<laughs> it's because you still see the gazelles. <laughs> Say hi to your gazelles, Nate. Where are you going? Are you I'm leaving me get, here? No, I'm gonna get like some. A game? Laura's going to get a game. I can still see the gazelles. Yeah, we do. We like to ring around the, the table here. It's more fun that way. How about this? How about if we did movie quotes and see if we can name the movie quotes? Okay. Name the movie quotes. That'd be good. How about that? That'd be great. Whatever you want to do. This is your show. I'm just here. Can I get that in writing? Yeah, sure. Oh, okay. I felt like I was going to say something, and then I forgot what it was. <laughs> I wish I could remember. Okay. Oh, everybody's loving on Nate. Everybody loves Nate. Okay, what do you have? Well, oh. Let's see. I've got a movie quote book. Okay. Movie quotes for unscripted moments. All right. But I thought I would just say the quote, and everybody can guess what movie it's from. Okay. Okay. Um, let's see. I don't understand what the what the categories are here. Let's see. We've got some meltage happening, by the way. Oh, did you light yours back up again? Yeah. I want to touch it. No, it hurts. That I want to. <laughs> oh, look, you're getting down into the other colors. Ooh. <laughs> All right, here we go. Okay, I'm ready. I'm just trying to get a feel for this because not everything in here is a movie. So I think we should only do movies, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, well, what's a royal ball? After all, I suppose it would be frightfully dull and boring and completely... Completely wonderful. <laughs> You're raising your hand. We have to wait and see. Yeah. Does anybody know? Maybe nobody cares. <laughs> oh, yeah. Look. Cinderella. Cinderella. Yay. What's your favorite Cinderella? Is it? Is it Disney? Rogers and Hammersteins. Definitely. In my own little corner, in my own little chair. All right. How about um, heroes get remembered, but legends never die. Follow your heart, kid, and you'll never go wrong. Cinderella, Cinderella, night and day is Cinderella. <laughs> Uh, yes, those are movie <laughs> quotes. Movie quotes. Hi, Crafty Jackie. Oh, I've seen, I think I've seen the answer. Yeah, I have too. Okay. Go. It's a sandlot. So, uh, all right, let's see. Here. Heroes get remembered, but legends never die. How about even the wise cannot see all ends? Oh, I don't know that one. As in the end, E N D S. Say it again. Even the wise cannot see all ends. Yeah, I don't know that one. That one's, that one's kind of that one's kind of hard. Oh, this will be good. I can't oh. stop yawning. I can't say this one if you can't get. Well, wait, they haven't they haven't answered that one yet. Okay, you're getting ahead of yourself. Okay. Maybe nobody knows that one. Maybe not. What was it? That one was Lord of the Rings, Fellowship of the Rings. Say it again. <laughs> Even the wise cannot see all ends. Who said that? Well, it doesn't say who said it. I don't In think that's from Lord of the Rings. Like <laughs> I love Lord of the Rings. I didn't know that. Okay, keep going. Okay. I just, some of these make me smile because I know, I know you'll get them before like I finish the quote. Let your heart guide you. 
It whispers, so listen carefully. <laughs> Jamie fell asleep in the theater during the first one. You knew that one right before, before I even finished, didn't you? Does anybody else know that one? Hi, Kelly. Snow White, no, it's not Snow White. It is animated. Okay, what is that one, Mary Beth? The Land Before Time. Yeah, the Land oh, Before Time. Oh, God, Littlefoot's <laughs> mom. I'll be with you, even if you can't see me. How, how, what does he say? <laughs> I'll be with you, even if you can't see me. <laughs> anyway, that's horrible. But it's Let the your land heart guide you. Let your heart guide Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> I can't take it. The Land Before Time. This is the saddest <laughs> movie ever. Oh. Let me just tell you. When you grow up with Littlefoot and Artax and the Swamps of Sadness, that's the movies that you're watching. The other night. It's they, no wonder. The other night, they, somebody, I forgot what we were, what YouTube chat it was, but they were talking about Artax. Oh. And uh, Zena was like, oh my God. <laughs> Stop talking about it. This is the saddest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> it's no wonder that we're all messed up. <laughs> okay. Our right. text, it's, and he literally was so sad that he died. He was died in the swamps yeah, of sadness. It's pretty bad. Didn't he get bring didn't he get brought back? I don't home? know. I wonder if my kids know this one. Katie, one Katie, see if you can get this one. Ferndly. The last dream first. <laughs> There are as many ways to live in this world as there are people in this world, and each one deserves a closer look. Mm. I don't think I know that one. It's a kid's movie. Who didn't cry at the beginning of Finding Nemo? Yes. Finding Nemo, that's Megan's favorite. <laughs> or it used to be. I don't know her these days. Well, so much <laughs> I watched it recently. <laughs> didn't you do Megan did you do on Instagram like a a bracket for Disney movies Carrie says Pippi Longstocking is that right um, Harriet the Spy it was Harriet the Spy I don't know that one Pippi Longstocking is coming into your world you remember that movie yeah do you yeah it was great that may have never mind. I'm not gonna say now that. Now here's it's live on TV. Probably whatever it is you shouldn't say. Yeah, I'm not I'm not gonna go. Here's there. a good one. Can once in a lifetime happen twice? What? <laughs> Can once in a lifetime happen twice? I don't think so. <laughs> it's a quote from a movie. Was <laughs> Katie says Yes, I love Harriet the Spy. I can't believe I got that wrong. Yeah, Katie, Ben and Javonel, and my Katie, you guys are probably the same age. And so that was a big movie for, for you guys. This isn't working. I usually can do this. The Notebook? No. Uh, Mary Beth, you don't know that one? It was, this one's Serendipity. There we go. Oh, my God, I love Serendipity. Yeah, Serendipity. Can once in a lifetime happen twice? Got it. I'm sure they love that sound. They can probably not hear it. <laughs> it's probably driving them crazy. I was really proud of that. Okay, here's the next one. Um, some of these are too easy, really. Hmm. Hmm. Dumbo. Oh my god, that movie's horrible. Some of these I don't know. If you can't say something nice, don't say nothing at all. Thumper Bambi, 1934. <laughs> I love that one. Whatever that was. This one's good. I, don't, I wonder if I wonder how many people know that the actual movie this comes from because you hear this quote all the time. We all go a little mad sometimes. Somebody says I've never seen Serendipity. Serendipity's good. That's a good movie. We all go a little mad sometimes. <laughs> uh, nobody's guessed it. Well, you just said it. Oh. 
Oh. Mm hmm Can I go? Mm hmm Anthony Perkins, psycho. Yep. Is that right? You got it. Yes. Let's see. Oh, they're saying Alice in Wonderland. Maybe they said that in Alice in Wonderland as well. We all go a little mad sometimes. Oh. It was originally in Psycho. Yes. Um... These are hard. Sometimes the most real things in this world are the things we can't see. I can hear it. <laughs> oh, I'm going to be mad at myself over that one. I can't think of it. Say it one more time. Sometimes the most real things in this world are the things we can't see. I think I know it. You play loaded questions. Okay. Is, it's not Jurassic Park, is it? No. Okay. They've got it. It's Polar Express. Yeah. Very good. Good job, guys. Um, we all float down here. You'll float too. Crafty Jackie said, oh God. It kind of sounds like we all float <laughs> down here. He'll float too. You'll float too. Uh, <laughs> here's a good one. It's not our abilities that tell us what we truly are. It is our choices. Who said I know that? I think I should know it, but I can't place it. <laughs> okay, what is it, Katie? Yeah, Harry Potter in the Chamber of Secrets. All Dumbledore. Right. It's the time of your life that may last a lifetime. I don't know that one. Laura is picking all the hard ones. <laughs> Laura! <laughs> that one's kind of hard, but that's one of my favorite movies. It's 16 Candles. I've never seen that. Oh, come on. What a shame. Man, you're missing out. Oh, here's one. You guys will all get this one. You ready? Here's an easy one. Smile. It increases your face value. Mm -hmm. uh, Steel Magnolias. Is it? Yeah. Good job. Nikki, you're probably answering before they <laughs> hear it. Who says it? Dolly Parton. Truvy. Very good. This girl I work with. A knight says, I really suck at this game. Yeah, I mean, the, I'm not doing too good either. Our new person at work, her dog's name is Truvy. <laughs> really? <laughs> That's adorable. Um, my kids might know this one. Smilers wear a crown, losers wear a frown. Hmm. That's one of y'all's favorites. Zero points for all. That one is uh, Miss Congeniality. Mm. You ever watched that movie? Yes. Yeah, yeah, I've seen that one, but I didn't know that one. Okay. You want to play something else? Yeah. We need to play something with cards so that we can sign them for our packages. Hmm. I'll go get something. Okay. We've got a baby shower tomorrow. We have a baby shower tomorrow. Oh, I remember what I was going to say. I remember what I was going to say. Give me just one minute. I'm going to mute this camera because I have to listen to this real quick because I have to know something really fast. Just give me just one second.
Okay. That answered my question. Okay. So next week, we may or may not have flipping and sipping. We may or may not. So, um, I, I think we're going to be out of town. I think we're going to be out of town, but I don't know if where we'll, we're going to be is going to have good enough internet um, to do it, to live stream. We're going to try to have flipping and sipping, but um, it's, it's not, it's not a, I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say. We're going to do our best. Laura, we're going to do our best. Okay, Ruthann. <laughs> we'll just follow your lead. We'll just see. Yeah. We'll just see how that goes. Yeah. So if <laughs> if we if we do it, we'll be on location doing it. What was the answer to the face value one? That was the uh, Dolly Parton says that in Steel Magnolias. Oh. Sorry. I was just jumping in there to read the chat. I think the chat is way behind. Probably. Where we are. So, yeah. If we're not here next week, don't be mad at us because we didn't have good enough internet to come through. But we're going to do our best. <laughs> Where are you going that has bad reception? We just have to wait and see. Auntie it's Christy, how did you get the beans mm. above the Frank? That's a good one. Name that movie. That's um, one. There's something about Mary. Is it? Mm-hmm. Really? How'd you get the beans above the freak? Yeah. There's something about <laughs> What does about that Mary. mean? I'll let you figure out what that means. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. MB, I almost had a Coke on Monday. I felt like hell and texted my friend to bring me a Coke. Well, Melinda, I have a confession to make. I have a confession to make, Melinda. Last week, was it last week that I had my shot or was it the week before? I think it was last Monday. Not this past Monday, but the Monday before. Um, I had my second shot. And on Tuesday, I felt horrible. I felt horrible. Nothing sounded good. I didn't want anything. I hated everybody. And I didn't like it. I was in a bad mood. And I was like, what's going to make me feel better? I was like, I think a Mountain Dew will make me feel much better. And so I had, so I was like, no, I have some in my fridge. And I opened one up, and I poured it on ice, and I, took, and I was like, no, I took like two drinks of it, and I didn't even enjoy it. Yeah. I didn't even enjoy it. I only had like two or three sips of it and threw the rest out. I was like, ugh, nothing even sounds good. That didn't doesn't even do it for me. So. I have had two or three sips of Mountain Dew. That was it. Front porch picker. I didn't know you were in Nashville. She's like telling us to come to Nashville. And that's oh, yeah. pretty close. We're two hours away from Nashville. We can be there soon. <gasps> Auntie Christie's throwing out another one. I know this one. Sissy, you ain't riding that bull. Sissy, you ain't riding that This bull. is one of my favorites. I don't know that one. I don't know that one. Urban Cowboy. I never oh, my God. With John Travolta and... Um, <laughs> And Deborah Winger. I don't know. And she that gets one. on that bull. Oh my God. It's so great. Laura, you're so excited. It's, that's so great. I haven't thought about that movie in so long. So I'm sorry about the Mountain Dew, but I didn't even enjoy it. It wasn't like I had it and it was just like the best experience ever. Right. Why do you even have it in the fridge? I don't no. know. I didn't, they're just in there. They're probably expired by now. I need to just throw them all out. But. Oh, Angela, you got a drink. You got to finish the rest of your drink. <laughs> it's John Travolta. <laughs> Love that movie. Okay, so Laura went and got game cards, so we'll have some stuff to sign. But it's 90s. That means I get to ask the questions because I'm not going to know the answers. Okay, I'm ready. Okay. All right. What color is the A button on a Nintendo 64 controller? <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. First thing that popped into my head was yellow. It's blue. Mm. Oh, look, Jamie. Good job, Jamie. All right, Jamie. Jamie, double or nothing. What color are the C buttons? Pink. 
Blue is the correct first answer, but what color are the C buttons? I'm waiting for Jamie's answer. Because she's double or nothing. Green, she says. Ah, oh, C yellow. buttons are yellow. <laughs> I think the C buttons are what are those little arrow buttons up at the top. Man, I used to play Nintendo 64 all the time. I loved that. I don't get this one. I was a big Nintendo freak, man. I loved it. I still do. Tetris is my favorite game. Toys from the 90s? That's like a battle one. I wouldn't be a good battler with that one. Okay. What color were the glasses that talk show Sally, talk show host Sally Jesse Raphael wore? I have no idea. Oh, I know this one. That was pretty famous. I don't even know who that is. My brother yeah. and I started with Intellivision. <laughs> I don't know what that is. That sounds awesome, though. Anything called Intellivision sounds fantastic. Danny, is Intellivision the one that had this the the uh, vinyl overlays and you had to stick them to the screen? Oh, that's cool. to the TV screen. Everybody's saying red. That's yes, right. Yes, they're red. Red. Good job. Big old red glasses. Yeah. Big old. If you put big old red glasses, <laughs> you get all the points. Mm -hmm. According to Right Said Fred's 1991 chart topper, what did Fred boast he was too sexy for? Yes. His shirt. His shirt. Yeah. Okay, double or nothing. Was anyone in the band actually named Fred? Probably not. I'm going to go with no. Actually, yes. Fred oh. Fairba Fairbrass. Wow. <laughs> they all got shirt. Y'all are good. This is riveting. You don't like 90s trivia? I love it. Nikki's asleep again. Nikki, Nikki has fallen asleep during flipping and sipping the past four weeks. It's just at the very end when I wasn't interested. Like after all the good stuff, then I <laughs> okay let's see let's see let's see uh who was the main boy in the animated series pokemon oh um what was that kid's name <coughs> that was a little after my time that wasn't really my jam i think i know too katie what is it, is it three letters uh-huh we start with an a yeah yeah Jim, <laughs> are you guys playing games at the baby shower? Well, it's kind of a secret, but it's so cute. The kids, the younger generation, this is the first shower they've taken on and hosted themselves instead of my generation. So it's been really great. Megan is the social chair person and she does have games. Oh, Megan. <coughs> Megan's the social chair. Very nice. And you want to hear something funny? They have different, you know, they had a bar chair person. They had an invitation person. And one, the host is her own category. And then they had the energy slash vibe coordinator. The energy slash vibe coordinator for a shower? <laughs> wow. Isn't that great? That's great. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's so do cute. a few more. See, they don't like these because they can't make these saucy. It's true. <laughs> okay. Um, who, let's do the math 90s style. Okay. So it's the number of NSYNC members minus the number of Backstreet Boys. So what's the answer? The number. Zero? <laughs> Weren't there five of each? I don't know. I would say, I thought there were five of each. Zero. You got it. Yes. <laughs> man, good. I need to get bonus points, man, because that wasn't even my music. 
in the 90s. That wasn't what I was listening to. So I need bonus points for you, that. You, you get bonus points. Thanks. You get 50 bonus points for that. Thank you. <laughs> Minus. <laughs> and then free range adulting just throws the D word in there. Of course. Ah. <laughs> uh, in the Spice Girls, who was Mel C, better known as? <laughs> okay. Ready? Uh -huh. Scary Spice. No. <gasps> was it Sporty Spice? Uh-huh. Oh, Mel B. Who was Mel B, better Mel known B as? was Scary Spice. <laughs> that was the double or nothing question. Dang. No Sporty. If you want to be my lover. <laughs> Before it sank into cinematic history, what city was Titanic traveling to? Bye, Angela. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Oh, tell me what you want. What you really, really want. Well, tell me what I want. What I really, really want. They got it. New York. New York. Okay. <laughs> that from? I don't know that one. I don't think. I don't think anybody's gonna know that. I don't. I'm not gonna show that. <laughs> Some of you guys might remember this. It says, what are we actually looking at here? Oh, oh, silly me. Well, somebody wanted to talk on the phone in their room. <laughs> right? <laughs> right? I think you're right. Nobody's answering yet, though. But somebody really wanted to have a private conversation in their house with their phone. <laughs> the answer says, oh, wait. The answer says, someone is on the phone and wants some privacy. Mm hmm Yes. Yeah, I don't know that one. How many films did John Williams compose the score for in the 90s? Jurassic Park. Six. It's more than six. What even movies were the 90s? <laughs> can't even think. When was Indiana Jones? It was the 80s. Well, I wish Mango said all of them. What? I don't know, man. 20. 20? Does it list them? No. That's a lot. Let's see. Nikki, what's your favorite John Williams song uh, com Composition to play. play. Yeah, in the symphony. She won't. She's mad at me. You're no fun. Star Wars, she says. Hey, I am a lifestyle expert with my own magazine and TV show. This person's from the 90s. I'm giving clues. Can anybody get it with one clue? A lifestyle ex. Oh, Megan. <laughs> Katie. <laughs> a lifestyle expert with their own TV show and what? Magazine. And magazine. Katie knows it? What? What is it? Katie says Martha Stewart. Is that right? Yeah, that's on the first clue. Very good, Katie. Oh, yeah. Mine. Oh, yeah. We got some more people. Good yeah. job. Some called me the domestic goddess of the 90s. I'm just reading you the other clues. I'm known for sharing recipes, craft ideas, household tips, and ideas for entertaining. That's me. 
I have craft, craft tips. goddess of the. We we we're gonna become the craft goddesses on my candle one of the two thousand twenties. Don't spill that on yourself. Oh, it's on my thumb. Oh, oh no, it hurts. Oh, I told you it would hurt. This went out. How, who blew mine out? It just went out. Ow. I told you that would hurt. It did. <laughs> oh, boy. What a disaster. <laughs> it only hurt for a second. <laughs> Mercedes, help. What a disaster. I don't like this candle. You don't? No. We won't do that anymore. I'm throwing it away. Okay. It's a disaster. <laughs> Maybe we can find something better to make the candles in. In. Let's make something more fun, <laughs> okay. like your deco camouflage or whatever. Decoupage. Yeah. Deco camouflage. <laughs> <laughs> we we can decoupage next week, and Who then will we decoupage, and then we we will Dixie, <laughs> and then we'll plan ahead to do the. The Bob Ross paint along. Okay. I think we need a couple weeks. But we can't do it next week because we're going to be on location. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's a secret. Yeah. It's a secret. You can't know. But it's going to be fun. We're going to be on location next week. So, deco camouflage. <laughs> How much wine has she had? Probably a lot. <laughs> so, yeah. On location next week. I don't know if we will um, have flipping and sipping or not. It's just going to depend on the internet where we are. Also, then the next week we will have some sort of deco camouflage camp. <laughs> and then the next week maybe we'll have a Bob Ross painting tutorial. I think that's a good idea. I think decoupage should be next. S say what it really is called. Deco camouflage. Right. I think deco camouflage should be week after next. It's not California, but it's also not our current state either. Yeah, I wish it was California. I wish it was California. But it's a different state. We're going to a different state next week. So. Yes. It's a secret. You're not, we're not supposed to tell. Lavish Mango, we did get your email about crafting. It's so cute. Lavish Mango sent us. I haven't showed it to Mary Beth yet. She sent us pictures from old 50s magazines of crafts. Oh. It's very cute. Like they made, uh, they, they showed how you sew together the greeting cards to make baskets. You know, oh, like that cool. one I showed the other night. <laughs> that's fun. Hints have been dropped. Y'all coming to Bama? Nope. <laughs> not Bama. I'm not saying anymore. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done with you people. Hints have been dropped. I'm tired. Tie-dye and apron. That's a good one. That's a good one. The tie-dye thing, we could do, but... We would need to be outside. <laughs> yeah. I think and we're we going to have to... And we can't video outside in the dark, so we would have to do it during the day. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. Are we ready to say goodnight? So, I'm kind people? of new. MB and Ruth Ann is confusing me. Okay, so just quick story. My name is Mary Beth. It's not Ruth Ann. Ruth, uh, Mary Beth. But we had name tags last week. Our post office worker thought my name was Ruth Ann, and everybody thought that was funny. So that's kind of like <laughs> become my alter ego. So yeah. Luke Garnett, there is a pregnant lady here. Absolutely. Yes. Somewhere. Your wife is here. <laughs> She's laying on the couch. <laughs> She's in the nest. <laughs> we can do the decoupage too. Yes. If yes. you guys want to decoupage with us, watch for Mary Beth will do some cute graphic about deco camouflage. I will. Night. All right. Okay. <laughs> Kelly, I have no we'll idea. have to come see you. You know, Alabama's on the way to Florida. True. So, well, it's pretty tempting. This is true. <laughs> Carrie said, holy crap, I almost timed him out. <laughs> Yeah, no, we, we need Luke to stay. <laughs> uh, That's funny. She said, I forgot about Katie and I saw his last name. That's funny. She took the nest with her? No, we have another one here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we are coming to Florida. We're going to go to Florida. I think we're going in like July, maybe. I think we're going to head down to Florida in, in around July. I just mix these up. 
Well, that's okay. But yeah, <laughs> that's the plan anyway. Vacation um, in July. I'll be in Tampa in July. Awesome. We're not going that far down south, though. We're probably just going to go to PCB or our surrounding area. So is Nashville. Nashville, we is a place outside the pandemic that we go to regularly. So Front Porch Picker, we'll, you may have to, we may have to meet up there sometime. Definitely. Because today is my two week vaccine anniversary and Monday yes. is yours. Monday's mine. So as of Monday, I will be vaccinated. I will be good. Well, not good because you're never a hundred percent good, but they tell you after two weeks, you're in pretty good shape. So as of Monday, I will be decent. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> PCB is Pensacola Beach? Question mark. No, Panama City Beach. Uh, that's typically where we go, or or a surrounding close area to to Panama City. Katie, Vintage and Vinyl. We will not come to Florida without meeting you. Correct. <laughs> we are definitely. If we even have to drive a little bit farther to find you, we will do that. Front porch picker is tempting us. I've got some great honey holes. Nice. And I have really, really wanted to find out where the Nashville honey holes are because I know that they're down there and I and it just kills me. I know. Because I'm like, you just never have time to explore. You know, you don't ever have long enough because you're, you know, usually going to do something else and you gotta fit it in and you know, all you do is Google and you can't find the good places that way. Remember when the last time we went to Florida and it was us and Megan and Nikki and my mom and we were all packed in one car and we didn't have any room for anything. Like, it was packed to the brim. You could not have fit one more thing in that car. So, if we're going to go down there and shop, we're definitely going to have to probably drive the cars. <laughs> I don't think we can do that again. <laughs> Southern Mermaid. I was nervous about my second shot, too. And I didn't feel very good the day after. But it was nothing worse than, like, a typical flu or just a typical fever. And honestly, it didn't last very long. My, mine didn't anyway. It lasted, I don't know, 10 hours or so. It wasn't that bad. The next time we go to Florida, we might have a baby with us. I don't know what I'm <laughs> going to do with a baby. We'll have all the baby paraphernalia. We'll definitely have to take two cars to go with it. Yeah, we can't pack all those diapers in one car. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> okay. Guys, we've been on here quite a long time. Laura's got to get home. The girls have got to get ready for their shower tomorrow. So I think we're going to call it good. Sorry that our candle crap was kind of, <laughs> it was kind of lame. <laughs> it was a little lame. But we did our best. <laughs> Show yours again. Okay. All right. I will. <laughs> well, that's pretty good. I'm pretty impressed, actually. You did better than I did. I'm, I'm feeling it. Well done. Okay. Thanks. We'll keep you posted about next week. We'll schedule it as is. And if, if we don't have very good internet, then it just won't happen. And you have our apologies. Sugar Riches, I'm off to check out my video. I can't wait. <laughs> okay, guys. Make sure you give us a like. Subscribe. If you are not subscribed, make sure you do that. It's going to be fun. We do this all the time. Yes, and come back and comment under the video yeah. once, it, once it posts and name the video. Like a friend's um, episode, the one with the crappy candles. The one, or the one where Nikki brought out the fire extinguisher. The one where we all fell asleep watching the wax melt. True. <laughs> so, yeah, make sure you go back and uh, name the video. And I hope you guys have an awesome weekend. Make sure you stay tuned. Offer up for the candles. <laughs> oh, my God. Nobody <laughs> wants that, Jamie. Make sure you stay tuned, guys, to see what Fatbird finds next. See you next time. Bye, everybody.